Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electric. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, now, this is uh, a VFD uh, voltage frequency drive. Okay. Now, what this guy does is uh, uh, purposely, the main, the main, main, main purpose for this guy is to control speed of an you know, electric motor. Okay. And how it does that is, uh, you know, uh, when you move your potentiometer around, so you see that it affects the frequency, and the frequency also affects the voltage uh, directly, okay? So, if it is 50 hertz, uh, probably if your voltage is, you know, uh, 240 volts, like here, uh, uh, in Kenya, 240 volts, and the frequency is 50 hertz, Okay, now that means that uh, if also 415 and then 50 hertz frequency. So if here you, because here we are affecting the output, okay, we are affecting the, the output of uh, this. So the, as you vary the frequency, uh, the voltage is, is being affected. So you start from zero, the voltage will be zero, okay, then you move uh, slowly. So uh, the motor will move depending on the voltage that you've given it. Okay, so that's uh, the speed. All right. Now, uh, there, you know, you're going to buy this purposely to control the speed of your motor, but also there are other types like this one that, in case you maybe you know you're connected to a single phase. And probably you have a motor because you need more power and uh, that motor is three phase and you have single phase so you could get this and uh, and it's able you, you're able to give it um, you know single phase 240 or 220 actually this is 220 with a with a tolerance of plus minus you know 15 percent okay so and the output will be uh, the output here will be uh, 280 uh, volts, okay, the output here. And the other thing also that you don't have to forget is uh, the rating. So this thing is, uh, you know, the input is 220, 50 hertz to 60 hertz, okay. But the output is the three phase, 0 to 380, and then the frequency also 0 to 650 hertz, so the power shouldn't exceed output power. This one, you should not load it uh, more than to, uh, 22 kilowatt. That's 5 amps. Okay. So you make sure that uh, the motor really, that's the maximum current that it can, you know, uh, draw. Okay. All right. Now, uh, there are so many ways you can connect this. You, you have the control uh, board here. Uh, where really you can, where you can, you know, connect the start button, you can put the external potentiometer, and then you can, you know, or put a selector switch. So that's where you're going to be selecting forward and reverse. Okay, it can run the motor forward direction, reverse direction. Okay, yeah, so you have a communication bus here where you can also, you know, uh, run this thing if you, you know, you have integrated the uh, PLC system. So you can run these things directly just mere giving a command because you're able to program it uh, the way you want. Okay. So let's just see, bring our multimeter and then we see. So. So I'm just going to, to connect here uh, my multimeter so that we can measure the output. Okay, like that. Now I've done that. So we have our multimeter here. Right now, you see up here we have 50 hertz, 0 0.1. 
and then 0 0.3 voltage just a small leakage there all right now let's run it and see so you'll see how much the voltage okay now because our potentiometer it is at extreme minimum okay so we can start moving it and then you see how it affects your voltage that's 23 SC. Uh, ninety SC that is two hundred and thirty. So at the screen here, that's frequency, and then what you are seeing here, it's uh, you know voltage. Okay. So as you move your your potentiometer, uh, as you lower the frequency, the voltage also uh, get lowered. Okay. This stuff here, it can only work on motor actually, because if you try to connect any other thing, uh, so long as the frequency is 50 hertz, uh, or you are operating, anything you operate, it should be within its, you know, uh, frequency uh, capability, okay? Because if you're going to connect any device at the output here, other than a motor, and then you vary the frequency, you will just, you know, ruin it. Okay? Yeah. So, basically, that's it. So, moving this, you're basically controlling speed of, of, of that motor. And this, uh, and varying the speed of the motor by, you know, varying this frequency, it won't affect your motor because it, it was designed to, to go through that other than you know connecting your light or a laptop or a fridge you understand but so long as the the frequency here is 50 like here in kenya if it is 50 then you can connect anything there it can work so long as it's within the limit of the rating of this device okay all right so i think that's it um we are going to use this thing for a couple of things so hope you stick around uh and wait for for more videos uh to come so thank you very much for watching until next time uh i'm out